of sin burning in just such a hell exactly is the first secret of Fatima for Tannis. I need my hair done. Or could the first secret have been a prophecy about World War I? I just woke up. Hold on, man. At the same time, the prophecy was allegedly revealed to the children in Friends. It's impossible that these prophecies... How many of us have them? Friends. Ones we can depend on. Friends. How many of us have them? It's a good question. It's a very good question. <clears throat> I like to be a social butterfly. For the simple fact that I love meeting people. People are funny. People are entertaining. People. People are people. And when you pay attention to. Shut up. When you pay attention to people and who they really are, you can sort of create a story in your mind about their lives, about who they are, what they do on the daily. Trust me, it's, it's, it's very interesting. And once you learn to do that, you can figure out what kind of people they really are and if you really want them to be your friend. This is why I like to get to know people. And I'm very good at reading people. And I can see into the future whether you're going to be important or not. Now, at the same time, I am human. So I tend to hope more than actually realize. How can I put this? My want is greater than my need. And sometimes I want, I, I try hard to keep people around. But then they never really want to, they, they never really were meant to be there. You know, some people are meant to come in and out of your lives. I've learned that. And once everyone else learns that, I think we'll get along in this world much better than we are now. It's okay to let things go, let people go. Why get pissed off at somebody for being who they are and doing what they do? That's them. Let them be them. It's okay. Like, I have one friend who I love dearly. I really do. I care about the thing so much. He's simple as a bat. But I love him dearly. But as of lately, well... He got into this relationship with someone who I told him, see, I'm honest. I don't, this, I, I don't need to bullshit nobody. I told him it wasn't going to work out and that he should be careful. So it didn't work out. And they broke up. Now he's all, you know, he shied away, from me at least, okay? Um, we were supposed to hang out a couple days ago. And he was supposed to call me. And he didn't call me. So I stayed home. And I hung out with other people. I mean, that's why I don't really make plans. I try not to make plans. I never know. You ask me what I'm doing, I don't know. I really don't, unless it's something I plan on doing for me. I don't make plans with other people because I never know what's going to go down. And I don't have time to wait. You shouldn't either. Never, never plan your day around someone else. Plan your day around you so that way you know what's going down. And if that other thing so just should happen to transpire, rearrange your schedule. It's okay because you can come back to that. But you sit around waiting for other people 
Well, then your whole day's, you know, it's fucked up. You didn't get nothing accomplished because you waiting on this other person. Life lesson. Anywho. So he didn't call me. And I didn't get mad because that's how he is. It hurt. Yeah, it hurt. I'm human. But don't dwell on it. Let it go. Reevaluate the situation. Reevaluate how important you are to that person. So that way you're not expecting too much. I've had to do that quite often in the past couple of months since my diagnosis with HIV. You had to realize how important are you to other people? And from then, move on and make new friends. But you know, I, for a while, I tried to keep all of my old friends, and some friends I still do have, and they're they're more family. I consider them more family than friends. So recognize those people. Recognize the people that you know are true friends, ones that have been there forever, forever. Ones that you won't be, you won't see for a year. And then you'll get back together and you'll have a great time, just like it was old times. Those are true friends. That's family right there. Then you have people who come along. To quote Medea, you got your roots. You say, you're a tree, okay? You got your tree, okay? You got your roots. Your roots are the ones that are there. They're always there, always going to be there. They, they, they plug, they, they keep you grounded. All right, keep you strong in the ground, okay? Then you got, ooh, then you got your limbs, all right? The limbs of you, of you, of you. Those, those, those are people you can come along in your life. They're there, they're good for you, you know, they'll party it up with you. But in a strong storm, one of them might snap off. When times get hard, they just might snap off and just leave you there. You never know. Can't really trust your limbs. You understand what I'm saying? Then you got your branches. You got your branches. They come around. They're there. They're there. But when the wind blows, you know, this way, they want to go this way. And then when the wind blows this way, they want to go that way. And they're not very stable. They're not very stable. And then you got your leaves. They come around every year. Hey, how you been? Suck something from you, you know? And then when things start to chill out, they get bored, they just fall off. They just fall off. Categorize your friends. Know who you're dealing with. And if you start to see someone fading out, let them go. Let them go. Bye. Do you. You were born into this world by yourself. Even if you're a twin, you were born into this world by yourself. I never heard of two babies coming out at the same time. Well, then, it's you for yourself. But make sure you have your roots. Keep you, keep you where you need to be. That's some real shit I just told you. That's some real shit. I was thinking about it. I said, I want to make a video. I told you I just woke up. I got to go to work. Ugh. Work. Comment, rate, subscribe. Repost. Listen, real quick. I don't know how to repost. Ah! Shut up. Underneath the video, there's a little thing that says share. Okay? If you're on Facebook, which you should be. Like, if you're on my YouTube page, watching my video on YouTube, and under these videos it says share, and you either click Facebook or Twitter, whatever you have or use, or if you use both, click them, and it'll just automatically repost my video, all I gotta do is click submit. If you watch my videos on Facebook, click share.